Thanks for watching. This is Dave Farrow again, uh, Guinness World Record holder for memory and creator of the mnemonic branding program. Now, uh, in this next clip, I'm going to show you, this is part two of our branding series, just to give you a, a few little hints as to how companies have used mnemonic branding, whether they knew memory techniques or not, they just went with what works, how some companies have used this to completely dominate their market share. In this segment, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, how Geico and Aflac have been using this, uh, this system. Now, in this clip, this is just an audio clip of my live presentation. So all you're going to see on the screen is just the slide from the presentation. Don't worry, there's no glitch or anything. Just listen to the audio. We as human beings, our natural tendency is to simplify the people around us. As a business person, if you can help people simplify you, then you're going to get the gig more often. If you're seen as complex, then you're forgettable that you're too much work to think about. If you're simple and easy, direct to the point, you know, oh, you do memory? Okay, yeah, your, your last name is Pharaoh, you wear a Pharaoh hat, boom. It's so simple, it's direct, it works. But don't just take my word for it, let's look at some other, uh, some other brands. Rule number one, go visual. So here's a great example of some visual stuff here. The Geico Gecko, right? Tons of other Geico commercials. This is the only one that really, really lasts in people's memory because it's a play on the words. Aflac. They got the idea from Aflac because Aflac was before them and there's like Aflac, right? The sound of it and everything. And of course the evil McDonald's, so I should love that. <laughs> you look at the picture for a second there to realize. Um, but <laughs> here's the funny thing, guys. People think that the, the Golden Arches is, the, is McDonald's brand and technically it is, but in actuality what really got uh, McDonald's to separate from Burger King was to get kids involved. So the clown was what separated them. You know, go, you know uh, Burger King had, um, you know, if you come as a birthday party, like we're talking, you know, 80s, 90s, right, when they were really having the franchise wars. Uh, the, the uh, you know, you go to Burger King and you have a birthday party there, you can wear a king hat, you can be a king for the day. That was their thing, right? And McDonald's was like, no, you get to play with a clown and it's fun and everything's, everyone's happy at McDonald's and everyone gets along. And the, so, the, so the brand was much more appealing to kids.